Good afternoon YouTube. This is my handheld collection, a response to A. Murphy 245's uh, uh, tag. So, I've got a nice selection of all my handhelds out here. I've not got all the ones out I own, but I'll tell you the rest as I go along. So, where should we start? First of all, we've got Sega Game Gear, modified with joypad port and RGB to connect it up to the TV. This has also had all the capacitors replaced. So we've got nice clear picture, brilliant sound as well. So that's definitely one of my favourites of my collection. I've got another mint in box game gear as well, tucked away somewhere. Uh Game Boy Color, got Street Fighter 2 in the back there, really good beat em up. Uh, this is just uh, a old beat up one to play on. Rescued this from uh, the wife's mother-in-law who was gonna gonna chuck it in the bin. So cleaned that up nice and nice and good. Not bad to play on. I've got another Game Boy Color which again is brand new in box, which I've shown in previous videos. Okay, Sega Nomad, another star of my collection. Absolutely brilliant console. Basically a portable Sega Genesis with joypad capability to be connected up to the TV. A really nice machine, a really nice sort of wedge shaped design there. Really sort of novel design, although it's pretty useless uh, for batteries. You can buy a battery pack, but I just play it connected up to the mains and trust the old original Game Boy with Game Genie attached. I've got another one of these mint in box but I've shown that in a previous video so I won't bother getting that out again. Yeah just a classic console. I always enjoy sticking some codes in the Game Genie and seeing what I can find. Game Boy Advance, owned this for quite a few years, bought this I think it was from Game uh, Game in York, probably about five years ago, for about 30 quid. So, playing that now and again. Another Sega Game Gear. Now, this one, the screen's knackered, so I'm going to try and do a capacitor replacement on it when I get some get some bits for it and get a soldering iron. I actually got this in 2002, so I've actually owned this for a hell of a long time really when you think about it. I mean when I got it I thought I sort of got it to recapture the days of when I used to play my Game Gear back in 91 and that seemed like a long time ago in 2002 but now 2002 seems like a long time ago. <laughs> it's crazy when you think about it. How quick the time goes. So I've got one last one last console to show you which is pride and joy of my handheld collection. That is the Turbo Express or PC Engine GT or Game Tank as it's known in Japan. It is really a lovely lovely item. I've also got the PC Engine converter to stick in the back so I can play PC, uh, PC Engine games. The only thing wrong with it is there's no sound out the speaker so I'm going to have to get the capacitors replaced on this sometime soon but it's only got one dead pixel otherwise the screen is fine. It is absolutely massive. If you compare it to sort of a a Game Boy Color and a Game Gear, it is pretty big. You'll also notice I've not got an Atari Lynx in this collection. They're plagued by trouble with that. If I buy them, they don't work. Or I buy them, the screen's broken in transit, so I've given up on the Lynx. But yeah, pleased to have this in my collection. So apart from a few consoles I've not actually uh, bothered to get out because I've shown them previously and all my LCD games which I've recently been picking up which you'll have seen in my other pickup videos, this is my handheld collection. So thanks for watching.